I've shown you in a different video how um, to find the area of a parallelogram, yeah, and they, they, they provide you with these formulas, but it's much more useful if you actually understand those formulas because then you don't have to remember them, okay? So again, in the previous video, I've shown you why the video looks the way it does, yeah? So then we can simply now write down, so the area of this parallelogram, yeah, okay, that is of course important, you have to be able to identify this is a parallelogram, yeah? two pairs of parallel sides, yeah, they're equal in length, um, and those, um, yeah, those angles will be equal in size, and so will they. Okay, this is a parallelogram, the area is the base times the height, and whenever you say base times the height, you should tell yourself uh, mentally, comma, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees, yeah? Because am I interested in the 12, in the 5, and in the 3? Which, which, which lengths do I have to use? Well, where do you see the 90 degree angle, excuse me? That's over here. So base times the height, in this case will be 12 times 3. I don't really care about this slanted height. If I would cut this part off, and if I would glue that on this side, yeah, and that's what I show you in a different video, I actually have the rectangle of 3 times 12, okay? So that's why the area of a parallelogram is base times height, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees. Okay, I'm saying already too much because I've said it already in the previous video, 36 centimeters squared, okay, area, centimeters squared, good. So that is the answer to my first problem. Now the second problem, yeah, area of a parallelogram. So the area equals base times height, where the base and the height make an angle of 90 degrees. Well, there's a 90 degree sign. Well, excuse me, it's difficult, you know, to, to draw this and that you can still see it properly. So perhaps it's, uh, you, you don't really see what it says. But this is 7 meters, 16 meters, and that is 15 meters. Now that's 90 degrees, so this could be then the height, yeah, and what is the base, yeah, well that is going to be 7, yeah, because that's also 90, so 7, so 7 times 15 is 105, and what is the unit, that's a meter squared. So the area of this particular parallelogram, the inside, is 105 meters squared. I hope that was useful, otherwise you leave me a question and I will help you personally. I'll be very um, happy to do so. Okay, all the best.